Hi, this is Daniel Watrous. In this video, I'm going to show you a feature of the Authorize.net for WordPress plugin that allows you to build custom surveys that will be asked at the checkout page. So you scroll down to Survey Builder, and this is under the Authorize.net menu. And on the Survey Builder page, let's say that you wanted to gather information about their employer. So you might say Employ Employment Details, and then you click Save. So now you've got a new survey. Next, you want to add some questions like employer, and you want that to be a text field. You can make it required. And then maybe you want occupation. You want that to be a select. And now you have a chance to add several different options and then you click Submit. So now you've got two questions. If you ever want to come back and edit them, you can just click Edit here, and it'll fill in the, the details there, and you can change whatever you'd like about it. Now with a survey in place, you can come back to your subscriptions, and you can choose a survey to include as part of a subscription. So let's create a new subscription. We'll call this Career Builder Program. And we'll choose the Employment Details Survey. And you can make it again a single, a recurring, or some combination. For this example, let's just do $1. OK, and now you click Submit. To go to that subscription, to buy that subscription, you just copy the Buy Now link. And what you'll notice now is that on the checkout page, it includes this survey. So they can type in their employer, and they can choose the occupation from a pull down. Now, if you wanted the donation module to ask a survey, you'd come back to general settings. And under checkout options, you'd choose donation survey. And then you'd update your settings. Now, what that means is that when you add a donation, so somebody comes in and chooses to give some amount, they can make it recurring, monthly, quarterly, whatever they'd like. When they get to the checkout page, it will ask the survey that was assigned for donations. Now, after someone has checked out and has filled out the survey as part of their checkout, you'll want to go to User Subscriptions, and this is where you can view all of the transaction details for your website. And what you'll find is that the survey answers are placed right here in the Notes field. And it says Survey Answers, and it gives the name that you chose and the value that they provided. Likewise, for all of the survey questions you asked, however long that happens to be. So that's all there is to it. You have absolute flexibility. You can add as many questions or as few as you'd like. You can provide text fields, text areas, which is a larger like paragraph type of box or selects and provide the individual options that you'd like them to be able to choose from. And that is how easy it is to use the Survey Builder. I hope you put it to good use. Thanks.